Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Marsonian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here. Uh, now, I'm not claiming to have found this one. This has been doing the rounds for the last couple of days, this particular find. I don't, I'm not sure who found it first, so uh, I'm not claiming to have found this. This is um, out there on the internet already and seems to be going a little bit viral with one or two channels. And I thought it kind of fitted in quite well with some of the finds I've published recently in the last year or so. So I'm going to do a quick overview of some of these finds and how they may be related to each other. Okay, um, so here's the page. Uh, we're on the uh, NASA website, as usual, G uh, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and we're looking at the left navigation camera on Sol 1237, okay? And the image you want to look at is this one on the left here. Okay, it's just there. So we have... A black and white image. Now these are actually better quality than the color images uh, in some ways because they haven't been downsized or or degraded. So even though they're not very large images or, or very large file sizes, um, they're they're fairly clean images even though they're quite low res. Okay, so that's the one to download. That one there. I've got it up here. This is what it looks like up close. And basically, we're still at Namib Dune, which the rover's been at for ages now, for weeks and weeks now, and I'm getting pretty bored of it. I'm sure you guys out there are as well. It hasn't really done much apart from drive and make patterns in the sand with its wheels and then take some scoop samples and, and that kind of thing. This sand is probably slightly damp as well, uh, which is why you get these sort of structures in the sand. Uh, but this this is the thing we're looking at just here right there it's only about an inch long uh it looks like a screw or something similar it may be some kind of shellfish or something like that uh that some of them look like screws or look like uh intelligent structures could be part of a crinoid or something like that some kind of um, primitive sea anemone or something now uh you won't see much here so i'm going to go in and show you the close-up i've got here i'll show you it completely raw as it comes first Here's the same image again. Now I'm just going to zoom right in. Now, of course, this will pixelate like hell because it's really not very large. This is like about an inch or even less, perhaps. It may even be a, only be half an inch. Um, really quite small. So what I've done is I've put it in my uh, image processor here, PageDrop Pro, and I've taken some clips of it. Here's a raw clip. Now all I've done with this is enlarge it. I haven't done anything else to it at all. I haven't enhanced it apart from enlarging the image which basically makes it easier to look at uh, and there we have it it has it looks like a screw and it has nine threads to it or, or nine parts one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I, I lied ten <laughs> obviously miscounted it the first time okay so there we have it there and I've got it the same clip there which I, all I've done there is select it and then to, uh, flip it to negative so yes, there's not a great deal of um, actual detail to be seen here. Even when you zoom right in, you can see the pixelation there. I've, I've actually um, done nothing to this apart from turn it negative. What, what I normally do with these images, blur them very slightly. Uh, adjust, let's give it a little bit of blur just to see if that gets rid of some of this pixelation. Let's go to one, that's the standard amount I normally use. It doesn't make a hell of a difference, but it does help sometimes. Um, but there you go. I mean, is it some kind of worm that's dried out? It's very, very straight. I don't think this is a fossil. I don't think it's a creature. I actually think this is a screw uh, because of the other things I'm about to show you that aren't that far away from it. OK, so let's have a look at what else I've got here. Now, a lot of you may have seen these already, uh, but a lot of you new people uh, to the channel may not have done. So I'm just going to flick through some of the things I've published in the last year or so that may or may not be related to that possible screw. There is this thing. Now, some of these look like tools. Some of them look like things like nails and, and uh, hammers, that kind of thing. Now, is it possible that there are old ancient alien tools lying around on Mars? Why the hell not? Uh, now, I don't know what this is. Uh, this is what it, this video is called Mars Pillar of Her Hercules Roof Structure and Tool. Now, this is a very strange object here, which looks like a bollard. But it has a little roof on the top. And in front of it here, to the left, you have what looks like a, a drill, like an electric drill. I'm not saying it is an electric drill. I'm just saying, saying it's got a handle here. It's got a back to it here, and it's got a, a sort of metal plate or something on the side of it. 
I'll quickly show you the enhancements. Now, I'm only going to flick through these very quickly because I don't want to take too long. Um, I'm going to try and keep this under 20 minutes if I can. Is that even playing? <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. There's the enhancement. Right, I'll, I'll pause it there. Now, with this, what I've done here is I've colour corrected it and I've played around with the contrast to bring out the detail. And you can see this thing looks like it's got some kind of handle to it. I thought it was a ray gun or or a, a drill, like an electric drill or something or something like that. I could be completely off the mark, but this is definitely not just some random rock here. It has another part to it here, which looks like a metallic kind of cover or casing. And the thing behind it, well, I mean, that looks like a bollard. What else can I say? It looks like the sort of bollard you might get um, on the dock side. Uh, is there any pictures of dock side stuff here right at the end? Uh, I think there is. Right, let's go forward, if it would let me. There was another couple of weird things in this one. No, it's not It's not working. Okay, we'll flick to the next one. There is also this that looks like a meat cleaver. Now, this was one I published a while back. Uh, it's only had about 1,500 views so far. Back in November last year. Woo, woo. I'm having a few problems with my mouse at the moment, so do forgive me if things go a bit funny. Now, this thing, let's go back a little bit, because I think we may have missed that. Here it is, up close. Now, this was right below the rover camera. And this looks like a meat cleaver that's with a handle that's broken into two parts here, and the blade here. So I'm just going to play that little bit through there. There's the enhancement. See, I really haven't done much to this, but what I did do with this is animate it and join the parts back together. And it would have looked something maybe similar to that, perhaps. Now, as with all these things, you've got to imagine that this may have been lying on the surface, possibly underwater, for quite some time, and it is heavily encrusted and rusty. So, this may well have been there for many thousands of years. Uh, this is the animation sequence where I put it back together again. Uh, hang on a minute. <laughs> What's going on? It should actually join back up now. Uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Hang on, let's go back a bit. Yeah, here we go. That's what it looks like when it's joined back up. Anyway, it looks like a meat cleaver with a handle, very similar to one I used to have myself when I used to think I was a chef. Uh, but <laughs> obviously, it, it, it's broken, rusty, and encrusted, so it's not going to look great. It could have been there for many, many thousands of years. I'm guessing probably only about a hundred or less, even. Uh, I really don't think that Mars was wiped out as far back as they say it was. I think it was in 1941 when Clyde Tom Bow, famous astronomer, saw the explosion on Mars. Here's another thing. Uh, Axe on Mars, Stone Age tool, stroke weapon. Now, this was another one I recently published uh, towards the end of last year. And it's what looks like a, a, an axe. Now, this looks like an old, a very old school kind of axe. Not your sort of modern axe that like you might find now. This looks much more like something that you might find in the Bronze Age or, or something going back th thousands of years on Earth. Uh, it doesn't look like a, a modern piece at all, if, it's, if it is in fact an axe. This looks very old. And in the enhancement you can see here, the handle. You can even see the grain to the handle where it's obviously made of wood or something. And the axe head, which goes through the handle. Now, that takes a certain level of sophistication by the toolmaker to do that to without just splitting and that the easy way to do it like the stone age people used to do would would just to be to split the end of the handle and then stick the blade in and then to bind it with a load of twine and glue and uh do it that way but this is this is more sophisticated than that this has been put placed through the top of the handle which means there's a hole here and it's placed into it uh so that that takes a certain level of, of skill and the, and the wood would have had to have been drilled out from uh, for the blade to go through. Okay, now that doesn't get particularly clear, even though it's right near the rover of this image, it doesn't really get very clear because the pictures are obfuscated and downsized. But you can see the blade here, and you can see the handle quite clearly. Here we go, there's the detail, there's the back of the head. I mean, it could be a hammer, uh, but it, it kind of looks like a blade here. Uh, you can see little dinks in it. And this may be extremely old. It may be made of copper. It could be iron. Could be steel. Don't know what sort of blade that is. Could even be stone. Uh, it may be a stone age kind of thing. Don't know. 
But I thought that was interesting anyway. There's the floating spoon. Now, this, this is not a floating spoon. Uh, lots of people publish this. This kind of went viral uh, sort of later on last year, September last year. Mars floating spoon. This is a complete optical illusion. It is not a spoon and it's not floating. And this is not a shadow of it. This part is here, but this actually is another part of the ground. Due to the poor quality of these images, these, these sort of image anomalies happen quite common, uh, quite commonly because of the, the fact that there's not enough detail to determine what you're really looking at, especially when you look at something out of context like this. When you look at the bigger picture, it does kind of make more sense. Let's go back. And you can see lots of other similar structures in the ground which are curved and sticking out, ventifacts and, and eroded. Uh, may well be metal, but uh, not necessarily intelligent uh, structures. But some of this may well be st seams of gold or copper or other types of um, semi-precious metal that are in the sediment here. And the sediment's worn away, eroded, exposing some of these harder substances below, okay? So that was that was cool, but yeah, that is an optical illusion. It's, it clearly says that in the description here, that it's an optical illusion. It's not a spoon, but it, it was interesting anyway. That kind of made a bit of a splash in the papers a while back. Uh, quite a few people published that one. There was also this thing that's like a weapon blade, like a a blade of some kind of um, knife or, or weapon. In fact, uh, it's got a perfectly curved edge here to it, and a rather strange bit sticking out here and uh, when you see the comparisons I don't know how long that will take it may take too long it's a kind of like a bill hook uh, now some bill hooks had sort of curved some much more some are much straighter some are much more curved you have I mean there are thousands and thousands of different types of bill hooks this is called weapon blade found on Mars Martian polearm it looks like the end of, of a polearm blade to me now it may not be of course it may just be a random piece of rock but it looked similar to this where you have this part sticking out here now this was used to disarm your opponent where their sword blade would get caught in there and then you twist it round very rapidly disarming them uh, in combat in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat or on the battlefield um, and th there are many many types of, of these I mean thousands and thousands of types the, the pole arms were basically basically used uh, in the in the sort of middle ages around the sort of uh you know from about the 9th to about the 13th 14th century especially in asia um but also in the middle east and in the west as well so there we go now, now we have the 12 inch nail now this is something i found earlier last year this is february 2015 so that was going back a, a, a year now um and this is exactly uh i think <laughs> when i say exactly this thing is actually perfectly straight and it's about 10 or 12 inches long how do i know that because nasa kindly gave us a scale measure for this image which i'll go back to now here it is here's the source image there's the nail here over on the on where my cursor is on the on the left there and here's the ruler guide for the image okay three meters is there and so i I'm guessing this is, is quite a large now, maybe six inches, it may be 10 inches, but it's about a third of a meter. Now there's a meter, it's about a third of that. So it's, it's about 12 inches, a, a foot long, approximately, um, give or take an inch. 12 inch nail found on Mars. This is one I found last year, obviously, and uh, pretty boring, but it's a nail. Uh, I can't see how that could be classed as a rock because it has like even got a, a little head on it here where you would have whacked it with a hammer. And it's, it's quite shiny as well. Now this is unenhanced. You can see how reflective that is compared to the surroundings. And when you do enhance it, it, it really jumps out at you. So this says to me that it's a metallic object. Um, and you can see how straight it is there. I put a little ruler next to it. So there are similar things to this possible screw on Mars. Uh, so. I think it may well be a screw. I don't think it's some kind of worm. I don't think it's some kind of creature. I think it's an actual screw. If there are nails and possible axes and other things, then maybe so. There is this thing which isn't very convincing because it, I zoomed in too close. So I'm gonna zoom back with this one. Uh, this looked like a hammer or some kind of weird sort of thing. Let's go back to the end where we were. 
Let me, I'll let that play a little bit. The enhancements are always at the end of the video, if, by the way, if you want to flick through them and you don't want to watch the whole thing. Now, this to me looked like a, a initially like a gun with a handle here and a sort of weird sort of barrel to it here. But then I looked at it round the other way and I thought maybe this was a handle and this was like the, the hammerhead with a sort of hook coming out the back. Really hard to say with this one. This is another... Uh, this is another nav cam image, which is really quite low resolution. And if you zoom in too close, it just turns to crap. You can't see anything. But that, that was a weird one. I call it Mars ray gun or hammer. Don't know what it is. Is it a weapon or at all? Don't know. It's got a reflective edge to it here, which says to me that it's probably metallic. Whatever it is, uh, it may not be either of the things I've said it is. It may be something completely different. Um, but it doesn't look like any of the rocks around it. And it seems to be a lot shinier and have a, have a reflection here along this leading edge here okay there was also this which i thought looked like an old ancient spanner um or a couple of things lying in the dirt may have been there for thousands of years don't know let me play that through a little bit i'll zoom in a little bit with this one because this one's a bit clearer let's go in up to 175 right okay and this to me i thought looked like a, like a big wrench or spanner uh why, why shouldn't it be? Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't want to do that. Let's pause it just there. And you've got quite a clear angle here and a part of the, the wrench there. Now, whether this is part of it here, I don't know. Maybe nothing to do with it. Let's zoom back a bit. We're too close. Let's go to there. Right. Doesn't get particularly clear. Like Most of these images don't. Uh, but it does, it, I mean, this may well be a rock, but it, to me it looked like a, a very, very old encrusted spanner or wrench that's been left underwater and kind of got build up, a build up of calcium, calcium and other crap on it, left there in, in, in the lake bed as it dried out, along with all the other tools lying around. <laughs> it may well have been uh, on a ship, it may have been dropped over the side, there are boat wrecks in the area. Um, I do think some of these things, now, a 12 inch nail we don't tend to use them on Earth very often. The only things they are used for, for instance, would be boat building or construction of, on a sort of quite a large scale or crucifixion, funny enough. The Roman nail or the Roman nails that were supposedly used to crucify various people um, back in the day were very long. They were about 12 inch, 9 to 12 inches long. We don't tend to use nails that big anymore. We, we use screws, bolts, that kind of thing, more engineered stuff. Um, so, is that a screw? Uh, maybe it is. When you put it into context with all these other things, the wrench, the possible wrench, possible hammer, 12-inch nail, weapon blade, that thing there. Let's go back to there. There we go. Very, very smooth and still in pretty good condition, this thing. I don't know how old that is, but it could have been there for many thousands of years. The spoon, which is just an optical illusion. The axe, which is one of my favourite finds, actually, uh, of, of this type, is pretty cool because you can, actually, you can even see the grain in the handle there and uh, the way it's been shaped. And, and I don't know, that was pretty cool. The meat cleaver, uh, that was a pretty cool one. I spent a bit of time on that one, uh, trying to put it back together. And there was, this, uh, there was the, the pillar with the weird sort of drill-looking thing, uh, which may be nothing, but it, it certainly looks intelligent to me. I don't think I'm the only one to think that. Um, I, I was actually asked back to go to a, another show with Ancient Aliens uh, just a couple of days ago. I went to London to talk about these things. Not these things in particular, but other things that I've found and shown in my videos. Uh, like the statue heads and buildings, that kind of thing, that, which is what they're mostly interested in. So you will be seeing me on Ancient Aliens in, in the next uh, few months, at some point this year. I don't know when exactly. Um, I don't know exactly yet, and I don't think they know exactly yet, because they're still in the editing stage. So as soon as I know, I will do a little uh, trailer for you all, and I'll probably I'll ask them if I can use some of the footage or, or whatever and uh, do a little trailer and advertise the show and let you know when it's all going to be on. I may even be in two or three different shows uh, this season as well. I don't know yet. All depends on the edit. So... We shall see on that one. I'll keep you posted. So is that a screw? I think it may well be. Let's have another quick look at that now. There's the negative of it. It's 
dead straight. I mean, if I if I rotated that, you would, I think it would probably line up very very well with the edge of the page. Let's just do that now. Control R. Uh, let's go right. We want to go right. Okay. Uh, let's go another about another. Uh, let's go two. And two again. Oh, and then another two. Right. Let's see if this will line up with the edge of the page. Oh, that's not quite right. I'd have to go another one. Let's go another one. Okay. Now let's see if it lines up with the edge of the page. I think it probably will. <laughs> if it lets me. <laughs> okay, let's move it up. Well, there we have it. Well, I think that's pretty close. I mean, let's go another half or one. Let's go another half. Uh, let's go 0.5. Sorry to be a pain in the ass, but sometimes you just got to do the job properly. There we go. It does line up. Look at that. Absolutely ruler straight. When you go up to the edge, there we go. See it? Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, as I said, I'll let you know when I'm on Ancient, Ancient Aliens, the new series. I'll be on a, 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 at least one episode, hopefully, possibly two or three. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.